Okay, I've just made some homemade butter with double cream. This is the butter in the whisk. It got stuck in the whisk, but it's okay. It's quite easy to remove homemade butter with just one ingredient, which is double cream. So all you need to make butter is double cream. You buy it in shops near, usually in the fridge section. It should be in the fridge section, yes. It's the cream that's removed from milk, from full fat milk. Then you whisk it until it turns to butter. That's how easy it is. So now I've managed to do this. And there's my butter and my buttermilk. The buttermilk, you keep it. You can use it for baking. You can add it in, in scones. You can add it in cakes. So now I'm going to rinse it out. You use cold water. Pour the buttermilk away somewhere in a jug or something else. And then rinse the butter out in cold water so now i'm going to put the butter i'll remove the whisk and i've got my this i'm going to put my butter in it so push this to the side okay butter squeeze out as much buttermilk out of it as possible and then put it in the bowl. Now it's time to rinse the butter in very cold water. So just to make it stay fresher for longer. Once you've rinsed it out, you can now add salt, herbs, garlic, just to make garlic butter. That's very easy. You just add garlic to this. You can add it toasted or you can add roasted garlic to it and then shape it and then keep it. Or you can just add salted butter okay so i've poured some cold water into my bowl you can wash it over the sink if you want but i'm washing it in the bowl so this is just me rinsing out the excess buttermilk just knead it in there obviously how much butter you make depends on how much uh, cream you use okay like that that's it it's this simple now if you're going to flavor your butter you can flavor all of it if you want uh, let's say garlic butter you can flavor all of it or if you want salted butter just add salt and then knead it in and you've got salted butter it's that simple that's how to make unsalted or salted butter at home so I'm just about to bake some madeleines. I've prepared my tray. I've put some butter in it and then shake some. I've put some butter in it with just a little piece of paper and spread butter and then shake some flour in it so that they don't stick. Shake off any excess flour. And then now I'm going to make my madeleine butter. I made some homemade butter. In a previous video and that's what i'm using i'm making some madeleines with my homemade butter in this bowl i have butter and sugar i was debating whether to make vanilla marble or lemon madeleines and i think i might make all three but i'm not sure yet so i'm creaming my butter and sugar just make sure your butter is very soft. You may even need to soften it in the microwave. It depends on your weather. If it's cold, usually butter it remains cold at room temperature anyway. So you need the use of a microwave to soften it. Now add the eggs. I'm using two eggs for this recipe. So I've added egg one. And I make sure I mix it first before the, adding the next one. I'll add in the next one. If 
finally add in the flour. Hundred and fifty grams of flour. And just fold it in. This movement is called folding it in. If it's a bit too thick, you can loosen it with some milk or if you're making lemon cakes, you can add some lemon juice to loosen it up. Okay. I was made, I made some butter and I have some buttermilk left, which I'm going to add in there to soften it. to divide the mixture into the prepared madeleine tray about a tablespoon in each you don't need much these are now ready to go in the oven I have some more butter left over for another tray, which I will make. I have two Madeleine trays because they go so quickly and uh, you always used to have to rebake. So now I bought two trays. They're now going in the oven for a few minutes. They only take about 10 to 12 minutes, especially if your oven is preheated. So if you've greased your tray properly, the Madeleines come out very easily. So I've got this one. They have to be brown just around the edges, not the top. The top it will be overdone. So lift it up and you see this bottom becomes the top. Or if you want this to be, that's fine. And then just flip them just like that. So despite it not being completely brown on top, it's quite good at the bottom. And then I leave them to cool. I can leave them to cool like this or put them on a cooling rack and leave to cool completely before decorating them. Thanks for watching and see you again in the next video.